Hello guys, welcome to another Android tutorial. I am Nick and in this video I am going to show you how to use view binding in your Android projects. View binding is a feature that allows you to more easily write code that interacts with views. Once view binding is enabled in a module, it generates a binding class for its XML layout file present in that module. As you are going to see, using view binding is very easy and it will make your apps more stable and to load faster. And of course, we won't have to use the find view by ID method anymore. So let's start. I have developed a simple app to help me demonstrate how view binding works. The app contains only one activity which displays a title, a car image, a description for that image and a button which when pressed changes the car image and the description of the image. So our layout XML file contains a text view for the title, an image view for the car image, another text view for the car description and finally a button. I have given each element an ID so we can access them from the main activity. In the main activity, as you can see, I am using the traditional way of doing things with the find view by ID method. So, in order to access the views of the layout and manipulate them, we have to find them using the find view by ID method for each one of them. So, here we create the button with the ID button change image. Here we create the description text view and here the image view for the car image. Next, we set a click listener to the button and when the button is pressed, we display another car image and description using the display car method I have developed here. Now, let's change the code in order to use view binding. So, let's go to the app module Gradle file and in the Android block, let's tell Android Studio that we want to use view binding. We create a new block named build features and in it, we enter this line, view binding true. Next, we press sync and we are ready to go. Now, view binding has generated a binding class for each XML layout file in our project. And since our project uses only one XML layout, we only have one binding class. Let's use that binding class in our project. In the main activity file, we create a private late init var named binding, which is of type main activity binding, which is the class view binding generated for us. Next, we have to initialize the binding object before the setContentView method. For this, we write binding equals activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator. Next, we set the content view to binding dot root and we are ready. Now, if we press binding dot, a list with all the views of the XML layout appears and we can access each one of them. So, I remove these lines of code here because they are no longer needed. Now, in order to access the button, all we have to do is to use the binding dot button change image, which is the ID of the button in the XML layout, and we are done. We do the same for the other two views we are accessing, binding dot text car description dot text and binding dot image car dot set image resource. That's it. Our project now uses view binding. Let's load this project in the emulator once more and as you can see, the project works exactly the same. Easy, wasn't it? Using view binding makes development much easier and faster as you can see from this simple example. I hope you like this video tutorial and if so, consider pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.